owner, Barry and Catherine Paulding, approached me about doing this very large scale mural. And because it was so big, 18 feet by 52 feet in size, I was pretty certain I would be able to get it done on my own, just physically. And also, I didn't want it to drag on and on. So, um, and I also, you know, Starting the Ashland Art Center, a part of what I love to do is educational. I do a lot of teaching, and so whenever there's a chance to work with students and help them achieve their goals, that's always really cool, too. So I met with uh, Peg Shogren, the chair of the arts department, and she, she put me in touch with um, some of you. I can't remember. Uh, me and Jose were on that first kind of email and some other people that ended up not being able to do it. And then I know Jonna was working in the office, so she was in direct contact with oh, Faye. Yeah, 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 so John, and Jonna contacted me and got me to come down and talk to you guys about it. Great. At the first project meeting. And my teacher at the time, Cody Bustamante, let me know about it and another student. Public art highlights a community's commitment to art and enhances the community's quality of life. The most traditional and perhaps most fundamental reason for public art is for the delight of citizens and visitors alike. Public art enhances public spaces and creates destinations for a community. For all these reasons, public art is an essential component of a thriving community. But it just shows that it's more than just like the imagery and the process and all that. It means something else to everybody else. And I think that's really important. You can't anticipate that until you're experiencing yeah. it. There was this one conversation I had with this one older woman who, I don't know if y'all were there, but she asked me, what are you guys doing? Why are you doing this? Yeah. And uh, I was trying to answer, well, it's just to, you know, write your name. It's just a gift. And she couldn't quite grasp that concept. So it is interesting to think that I just kind of accept the idea that art is part of our civilization. It defines us. It, you know, trans, uh, transfers through centuries, and that's what art is. But it's not everybody that has that sort of exposure. Right. So to have that is, is pretty cool. Oh, yeah. yeah. It prompted a lot of that kind of conversation. Right. This is sort of what the food bank is all about. You know, every morning when I come to work, I and my volunteers, and I help most of our customers experience intense moments of joy. We are here by the goodness and the grace of our community to share a most fundamental need, that is food, with our neighbors who are in need. What is not to be happy about that experience? To this point, however, we've been inside this wonderful space that we managed to purchase last year that's full of light, that's a, a, a lovely place to come to work. And we realized when we looked at the outside of the building that it really didn't convey any of the joy that we experienced inside. It's really hard to imagine until you're seeing it and doing it, I think, what it really is like to transcribe something that small and something that large. And uh, so I learned a lot just from that. And I think what I really learned a lot from was watching the stages, how you took it in stages. Yeah. So I think I like to have mental notes that I can apply that if I ever do a project like this. Right. So to see how you had the grid stage, then the outline stage, yeah. then the fill stage, and then the detail stage, and then more detail stages, and seeing how you do it in that layers, like that was really great for me to watch that. Yeah. And what's neat about this is that we're all here to celebrate. We're not here to celebrate the fact that some people have a great need. We're here to celebrate the fact that this community comes together to meet that need, to celebrate the abundance that we all have, and to share that abundance with one another so that everybody has their needs met. I think ultimately what was nice to see is that is if you kind of push through it and keep going that you can still get great things done. So like seeing that is kind of like the reward at the end, it was all worth it. Right. So to see that like, okay, we you go to the meetings, we do all this stuff, we make the changes, and in the end it's still great. Yes. That was really encouraging, I think, at some point it's like, oh wow, this is a lot. And then it's like, okay, but it's fine, yeah. you know, and it worked out in the end. Yeah. Yeah, 
have to create the design and do the palette. So they need to see all the colors and the design. And you have to submit it to the uh, city administrator, who then will submit it to the Public Arts Commission, who then will go through a series of approvals, then takes that to the city council, then you get the approval. Then you have a first meeting for wall preparation, you have a second meeting halfway through, and you have a final meeting. And even on that final meeting, you may not be done. In the case of our mural, they made four different changes before they signed off on it. Right. Yeah. After we thought it was done. I certainly did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was finished. But, you know, this is the process. So, um, you explained that process being challenging. Yes. Yeah, and just details and all the little things you have to remember and the checks and balances and making sure that you got everything approved for this committee of people to their satisfaction. It's not just you as the artist. But I know that every single day, um, this piece is going to bring joy and happiness to all who come here, and even to those people who travel down the block, and probably to those people on the freeway overpass over here. Contigo aprendí que existen nuevas y mejores emociones. Contigo aprendí a conocer un mundo nuevo de ilusiones. Descubrí que la semana tiene más de siete días. Y hacer mayores mis contadas alegrías. Y hacer dichoso yo contigo lo aprendí. Contigo aprendí a ver la luz el otro lado de la luna. Contigo aprendí. Que tu presencia no la cambia por ninguna. Descubrí que puedo un beso ser más dulce y más profundo. Que puedo irme mañana de este mundo. Las cosas buenas contigo las viví. Y también aprendí que yo nací el día en que te conocí. Contigo aprendí a ver la luz el otro lado de la luna. Contigo aprendí. Que tu presencia no la cambia por ninguna. Descubrí que puedo un beso ser más dulce y más profundo. Que puedo irme mañana de ese mundo. Las cosas buenas contigo las viví. Y también aprendí que yo nací el día en que te conocí. Contigo aprendí. I've learned.